Hi there. Now, here we have a question on matrix multiplication, which uh, if you'd like to have a go at, haven't seen this before, just give you a moment then to pause the video. When you come back, I'll take you slowly through the work solution. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So I'm assuming that you're familiar with matrix multiplication. If not, do check out the videos on my website. Well, first of all, we've got to find out A times B. So if we copy the matrices in, we've got 1, 2, 3, minus 1, 4, and 5. And then we're multiplying this with the matrix B, which is 2, minus 1, 4, and 1, 3, 1. And all we've got to do is just multiply rows by columns. So if we start with the first row, first column, it's just going to be 1 times 2 plus 2 times 1, and that's going to give us 4. Then we do 1, 2 times minus 1, 3, and that's going to be minus 1 plus 2, 3s, which is 6, and that's going to be 5. And then 1, 2 times 4, 1, that's going to be 1, 4 is 4, plus 2, 1s are 2, and that gives us 6. As I say, I'm going to just take you slowly through this just in case you've got problems, okay? So next will be second row times first column. So it'll be 3 times 2 plus minus 1 times 1. And that gives us a total of 5. Second row, second column now. 3 times minus 1 is minus 3 plus minus 1 times 3, which is another minus 3. That's going to give us minus 6. 3 minus 1 times 4, 1, so it's 3 fours are 12, and then minus 1 times 1 is minus 1, 12 minus 1, that's 11. And the last row here, you get by doing 4, 5 times 2, 1, so that's 4, 2 is 8, plus 1 is 5 is 5, and that's going to give us 13. And then 4, 5 times minus 1, 3. 4 times minus 1 is minus 4, 5 times 3 is 15, that gives us 11, and the last one is going to be 4, 5 times 4, 1, 4, 4 is 16, plus 1 is 5 is 5, 16 and 5 then gives us 21. And that's our matrix with a dimension 3 by 3, okay, 3 rows by 3 columns, a square matrix in other words. Now this leads itself on to the next one actually when we talk about dimensions because in part B we've got to explain why AB does not equal B times A. And there's several ways that you could do this. One is just by considering the dimensions and the other is just to physically work out what B times A is. And check it against this one. I think the dimensions way is the best one though. Look, I'll show you how that one works. A times B, okay, what we've got here is three rows by two columns, a three by two matrix, and we're multiplying it with two rows by three columns, so we're timesing it by a two by three, and always you can multiply if these two numbers are exactly the same, and the result is a matrix with dimensions three by 3, the two outer numbers. So what we end up with is a 3 by 3 matrix. And you can see that anyway in the answer to part A. Whereas if we did B times A, then we've got a 2 by 3 matrix for B multiplied by a 3 by 2 matrix for A. Again, it's possible to do the multiplication because those two inner numbers are exactly the same. But the size of the matrix for the answer is going to be a 2 by 2. So we've got a 2 by 2 matrix if we do that. And you can clearly see that they can't be the same answer because the dimensions are different for starters. Okay. So therefore we can see that AB does not equal B times A, just by looking then at the dimensions. But there is another way then that we can do this, and as I said earlier, it's just to work out what B times A is.
So if we take our matrices B times A, this time though I'm not going to uh, work through the multiplication, just leave you to check it out. But uh, if we do put our matrices down, okay, then by doing the rows times the columns, you should find you end up with 15, 25, 14 and 4, which confirms again that we've got a square matrix here. It's 2 by 2 and clearly cannot be the same anyway as this 3 by 3 matrix. So another way then that you could show that result that AB wasn't equal to BA. Okay?